All right, back with another video, guys. Um, this one is different from my typical format. Usually I do, you know, performance basketball shoes. And this one's gonna be exactly what you probably think it's gonna be about. It's gonna be about socks, basketball socks, okay? Now, I know that sounds kind of silly. I'm sure some people are out there like, really, you need to do like a 10, 15 minute video, you know, completely devoted to socks. And I, and I get where you're coming from, and you know, I agree. Um, in my opinion, I kind of feel, I have two thoughts about that. One is, uh, as long as you have like dependable, decent athletic socks, cotton, whatever material, you're gonna be fine. Just go out there and play and have fun. That's really all that matters. I think sometimes we do too much research and watch a lot of videos trying to make decisions. And that time could be better spent, you know, in the gym, you know, putting up some shots or lifting weights or whatever. So that's one uh, point of view. And another point of view would be, uh, I think it can make a difference which sock you wear. You know, I'm not gonna say it's gonna make you a better player. I, you know, I don't think that's true, right? That's crazy. But uh, let's say, for instance, like a running sock. I wouldn't play basketball in a running sock typically because it's thinner and the you know the, the mesh material usually has my foot sliding around more than a, a basketball sock. So I'd like to wear thicker socks, socks that kind of fill out the the space in the shoe, and uh, it also helps with like cushioning and and you know you want to have the right tightness in a sock as well so it doesn't slide around on you. So you know those those two perspectives really like. As long as you have a dependable sock, that's all that matters. Um, and if you can't afford any of these, you know, high-end, top-of-the-line socks, don't worry about it. But at the same time, it can make a difference in some ways in which sock you play in. A good example of like a regular dependable athletic sock before we get into these would be like the head socks, H-E-A-D, like head, body part. Um, I think they're like a tennis company. These are available at like Costco. And it's like a six pack for 12 bucks. Some of these socks cost 12 bucks for one pair. Most of these do actually. And you can get six of these for uh, for 12 bucks. And they come in like black and white, this color. Uh, and they're the thickest socks in the bunch, really. They're really thick and cushy. They feel good on your foot. And they really help to, to fill out like um, that extra space in a shoe. If a shoe has a little extra room or dead space, these socks really help to take up that space and, and fill it out. So it's kind of nice for that. So again, you can find these in most stores, but I think they still have them at Costco for about uh, 12 bucks for a six pack, okay? All right, before we get into the other socks here, there is one question, or not, well, yeah, one issue I wanted to discuss. Um, it's basically like quality, how to tell um, if a sock is good quality or not. It's kind of a, you know, an important question, right? And to me, it comes down to two things. The first thing is how well the, the sock maintains its fabric, okay? How much fabric it retains or or it loses. So you don't wanna see a sock losing a lot of fabric. What I mean by that is after you play in it and you take it off, you have a bunch of lint on your foot, okay? Now most socks will typically do that the first couple of wears, first you know wear or two, uh, and that's okay, but you don't wanna see that happening too much after that, okay? If it's losing a lot of fabric, you know obviously you'll start seeing like patches and threads and uh, holes, and that's what you wanna avoid. But uh, a good quality sock will maintain, will retain most of its fabric, okay? That's one thing. The second thing in my opinion is how well it maintains its shape and elasticity. So, so it should look the way that it looked before you started wearing them, you know, maintain that shape, right? And also maintain its tightness, both in the uh, the lower calf area and then the midfoot and the rest of the, the, the foot as well, the toes. So uh, you want it to maintain that shape and elasticity and also retain a bunch of fabric. Those things, those two things to me are really what separate high quality socks from just your, you know, kind of cheaper socks, okay? So what I'm going to do, uh, we have a good variety here. We have some Nikes and Jordans, Adidas, Under Armour, NBA, and Stance. Um, kind of the flagship socks from each brand. These are kind of like the heavy hitters, I guess you would say. And uh, what I'm going to do is just go over like the standard, in my opinion, what I think is the best sock, which I think you can actually measure here, uh, and then compare the rest of them to see how they stack up against those, okay? Uh, Cause man, I don't. I'm trying to keep the video shorter. I did a couple of takes already, and I got to about. 14 minutes and I had just finished this section before I even got to here. Okay, 14 minutes. I don't want to do that to you guys, so I'm going to try to keep it briefer here. Uh, and if you guys want like individual details and more information on specific models, just leave a comment or whatever and I'll, I'd be glad to do that for you guys, okay? But I thought it'd be better just to do like one video with all the socks as opposed to separate videos for each one, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the Nike Elite. No surprise there. This, in my opinion, is the standard. It is the best uh, value performance sock that's out there right now. Um, it says Elite in the, uh, I think the inside there, right? Yeah, it says Elite. So uh, Nike uses that term Elite for like, shoe. they kind of throw it around loosely in my opinion. They use it for shoes that are more expensive, like 
uh, like the KD and Kobe and LeBron, they're more expensive than the original versions. They don't necessarily play like it, so the joke is like, you know, they're only elite in terms of pricing, right? And I've had, you know, bad experience with elite shoes before, so. Uh, they also use it for basketball shorts, I believe, and their socks. The term elite for their socks is very, very fitting. It's very appropriate. The socks deserve to be called elite. They truly are, in my opinion. And what makes them so great, uh, two things, in, in my opinion. The first is the durability. They're very, very durable. They last pretty much as long as you want them to. Um, the worst thing that happens in my experience is they just get thinner due to the, uh, all the compression and wear. Uh, but they're just really, really tough and they're, they're well constructed, okay? So that's one thing. They're just very extremely durable. And they have a long life. They don't quit on you, right? The second thing, and I'm gonna mention this kind of a couple of times, is the ability to hand wash these, okay? Um, I don't like to put things in dryers, or I should say socks and, and other clothes. Uh, if I can avoid it just because the heat I think messes with the elasticity so uh, materials like this are typically the first to dry right they're designed to be that way to, to evaporate and uh, wick away moisture and what ends up happening is these are already dry and they're still in the dryer while everything else is, is getting dry and they start to overheat the heat starts to um, you know mess with that elasticity and I think that can you know reduce the tensile properties and take away from the overall tightness so I try to avoid doing that as much as I can and one really, what really separates and sets these apart, the Nike Elites from uh, the other socks out there, is the ability to hand wash them and hang dry them, okay? And they still retain their shape and elasticity and tightness. It's amazing. I've never really seen another sock that's at the same level in terms of that. So I don't wanna gross anybody out, but uh, I machine wash the Nike Elites maybe once, well the first time just because they're new clothes, but after that maybe once a month, once every two months. Uh, what I'll typically do is uh, after wearing them or playing them, take them off, soak them in a bucket of warm to hot water for about five to 10 minutes, and then just you know take them out, flip them inside out, and then uh, flush them under running water, squeeze them out a little bit, and then hang them up to dry. Uh, obviously you need to live in a kind of a warmer, drier environment for that to work. And if you live in not ideal conditions, uh, you'd have to you know modify that a little bit. But uh, I find that works for me and it's so convenient that I don't have to put these in the wash every time I'm done wearing them. So that's what really separates these uh, from the other socks in my opinion. So uh, we'll go over like individual differences between you know the different models. These are the quarters, obviously, you know, one difference is the height there. But uh, another difference is actually this section right here, the Achilles, just this area right here. The rest of the sock has the same overall thickness and nice cushiness as the, uh, the regular, you know, elites, the, the crews there. But for whatever reason, presumably because you'll be playing in lows, I guess, um, this section right here is just a little bit thinner than the rest of the, uh, the rest of the socks. And I did not, I did not notice that until I got these in hand. Okay. I ordered these online. Um, the crews themselves are just maintain that same overall thickness throughout the entire sock. But this section right here in the, in the quarters, you know, has a, a little bit thinner area for whatever reason. So I don't know if I would recommend playing in mids in these, although I'm sure you know there are some mids where it would work perfectly fine. Um, and then we have the Jordan Dry Fits, which are pretty much the same sock. Okay, obviously you have a different, you know, you have the Jumpman and the different design, but uh, and it says Dry Fit right there. I right, can see that. Um, they're basically the same sock though, in terms of in terms of function and design, and you know the ability to hand wash and hang dry them. One difference would be the thickness. Again, this section right here has the same thickness as the regular elites, the mid and bottom. But for whatever reason, the top of the sock right here is just slightly thinner than the rest of the sock. I'm sure Jordan would explain that by saying, "Oh, it's you know for ventilation purposes or whatever." I personally think it's just you know they're kind of good at cutting costs, so uh, that's another way for them to cut costs, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, overall it's it's pretty much the same sock, right? And you have your hyper elites, Nike hyper elites, which are typically more expensive than the regular elites. And speaking of price, before I continue, um, don't pay retail for any of these if you can avoid it. Most of these can be found, not you know certain colorways, but uh, you can find these in like Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, Nike outlets typically have them on sale. So uh, if you can, you know, save money. I personally think they're worth the retail price. I, I think they're worth every penny just because they last so damn long. But uh, yeah, if you can save money, why not, right? So you can find them in stores like that and uh, just use, use coupon codes, whatever you can do. Just try to avoid paying retail if you can. So Kick Genius did a nice video comparing the Hyper Elites to the regular Elites. Um, oh, I should have mentioned, most socks at this point have like left and right um, designations, right? Hyper Elites, regular Elites, the Adidas, and all these other socks. That's kind of a nice thing. Um, 
Yeah, but they did a video comparing these to the regular elites and they came to the same conclusion that I did that it's not pretty much, it's not really worth it in the end, um, the price difference. I think regular elites are about 12 to 14 to 16 bucks, something like that. And hyper elites cost a little bit more than that. Uh, they are a little bit harder to get on than regular elites, so they do have a nice level of compression there. But, um, you know, in terms of how they play and how they feel on foot, there's not really much difference at all. So, uh, you know, if you can find them at a cheap price, go for it. They're, they're both winners in my opinion, but you don't need to get the hyper elites. It's not going to make like a huge difference, right? All right, so these are the standard, the Nike elites, uh, for the reasons that I mentioned, the durability and the ability to uh, hand wash and hang dry them. And I'm going to compare the rest of these socks to those, okay, kind of quickly here. So we have the Adidas um, traction models and the uh, Under Armour Undeniable. I'm going to talk about those. When you get the Adidas, make sure, these are good socks, okay? In terms of performance, they're very comparable to the Nike Elites. Nice, thick, cushy feeling throughout. They stay where they're supposed to. Um, the crews of the Adidas Lillards are harder to get on than the, any other sock here. Uh, they're a little bit tighter in some areas. And then these aren't quite as snug, the undeniables in the uh, lower calf area, but they're still very good and they stay where they're supposed to, okay? Um, when you're looking at the Adidas, make sure you get the traction model. Here's a new pair here. It says traction in the, uh, right by the toe area. And, uh, you know, it says like four motion and compression and traction on the back. Just make sure you get those, okay? I, I can't speak about their team speeds and other models, but these, they also made models for John Wall and Derek Rose, which look really, really good in my opinion. Um, so yeah, they're, they're very comparable in terms of performance as well as the Stephen Curry versions of the Undeniables. These are very expensive, like 20 bucks, okay? The regular Undeniables are like 15, and you can find them on sale for like five to 10 bucks in places. Apparently, right, this SC stitching right there, is gonna make that thing cost five more dollars, right, just for that, right? Uh, but yeah, whatever, I, I didn't pay that much, and again, I wouldn't advise you to either. But they're very uh, comparable in terms of performance. The main difference being, you can't hand wash them and hang dry them as much as easily as the, uh, the Nike Elites. You can see the difference here in the uh, black and white socks. The black socks I threw in the machine, okay? I dried those in the machine. And you can see that they kind of went back to the original shape and size, as opposed to the white ones, which I hung up to dry, and now they stretch out a little bit and they're a little bit longer, okay? So uh, you can't, to me, you can't uh, hand wash them. You have to machine wash these and machine dry them more frequently than the Nike Elites. That would be the one significant difference, right? All right, and also sizing for the Adidas really quick, sorry. Um, if you're on the lower end of like a large, so I don't know if you can see, let's see if we can get this difficult. If you're on the lower end, like nine, I'm a nine and a half to 10 and I got a large, but these could run kind of big and I easily could have gotten a medium. So if you're like a, t a 12 or 13, you could probably fit into a large as well. These socks kind of run big and they stretch out a little bit, just quick sizing there, okay? All right, so get that out of the way. And the last two socks we'll talk about are the NBA socks and the Stance socks. So recently Stance just did, or they announced their, uh, they're gonna be the new supplier, I guess, the official supplier of socks for the NBA, right? These first made their appearance in the, I think the All-Star game this past year. And this is the East version, okay? This is what they wore in the All-Star game this past year. Very expensive, these are like 25 bucks. And again, I didn't pay that much and I wouldn't advise you to pay that much, okay? Uh, probably because of the association with the All-Star game, that's why the, they're marked up. Stance basketball socks are typically about, uh, I think around 19 to 20 dollars okay and then i guess these are going to be called the old nba socks now this is kind of crazy to me these have been around for so long uh, i believe these are made by four barefoot i think that's the company name and they make a bunch of different versions team editions and all that um, but yeah i guess at some point we're going to refer to these as the old nba socks now because stance is going to take over and uh really quick here's the stance logo on their sock looks like that right um yeah, so these will be, you know, we won't see these in stores as much. And I'm interested to see how that's going to play out because uh, these aren't going to be as widely available as they were before. Uh, Stance is taking over. Uh, I don't really like these as much as the other socks in terms of overall value. And don't get me wrong, they're phenomenal socks on foot. They feel so good. Nice, thick, dense cushioning throughout. Um, and obviously it's what the professionals wear. But the professionals, you know, they have access to as many as they want, right? Some of these guys are like double and triple socking every game you know they have equipment managers and they can just request hey i want some new socks right we can't do that we have to you know most of us will just get a couple of pairs and try to make them last as long as we can um so in terms of durability and overall value you can't hand wash these and hang dry them in my experience they get too loose so i have to machine wash them and machine dry them and that heat really you know 
affects the elasticity and these things just don't retain their overall tightness and fit. You can see they're kind of wide and kind of loose now and they're getting looser in the angled area. So uh, again, they're, I would advise if you want to try them, go for it. They're you know really amazing socks. But in my opinion, just the durability and value isn't quite there. It's not, not comparable to uh, the other socks mentioned here. Okay, But uh, that is what the professionals are currently wearing right now until Stance takes over. All right, guys, I hope that kind of helped and gave you guys some information. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below, you know, as usual, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Again, if you want to see individual reviews or anything like that, please let me know, and I'll, I'd be glad to accommodate that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, thanks. Bye.